How's it going everyone? We're jumping into a little video here, just a minor tutorial about how to utilize pull tabs. So one of the things that I like to do is I utilize pull tabs on a lot of my bags, whether it's a lunchbox or it's a camera bag, or in this case, a med kit. We just came out with red pull tabs for medical reasons primarily, also because red's cool. But what's also cool is we color coordinated these, so you have different options. So now if you're gonna go and use a med kit bag here, I can go and use these new red pull tabs and set them up to specific pouches. Or if I want the blue pouch to be for water or the mud pouch to be for some other piece of kit or whatever, I can go and now color coordinate these. So to go and change this out, we're just gonna cut this off and we'll go and insert this through here. You'll also see a lot of zippers that are gonna be smaller, sometimes medium sized zippers that have this little tab here for you to grab onto, sometimes with or without this extra paracord through here. So jumping to the bottom one here, I'm gonna go and just slice off this 550 cord, get that out of there. On the bottom here, I'm gonna use a sand pull tab. All I'm gonna do is slide this through the loop of the uh, zipper here. I'm just gonna go to about the halfway point because I just need to get the head of the pull tab inserted to the loop through here. Once that's set, I can go and slowly shake this back until I get this cinched up to the level that I want. Again, take your time with it. You don't need to yank on it or anything like that. And now once it's set, I can go and get quick, easy access to the zipper. And it's gonna be really easy to grab onto this and I don't have to worry about missing a piece of 550 cord that's dangling from the bottom. Jumping over to this type of zipper here, I'm gonna show you the other method. So again, just cutting off this extra 550 here. And pull this out like so. So now I'm gonna take my pull tab and I'm actually gonna go and weave it from the bottom all the way through and push it to basically where it starts to um, thicken out through here. And I'm gonna take the loop and I'm gonna push it back through the top. Now, once it's through the top, I'm gonna to go and start to try to insert the top of the pull tab through here. It takes a little bit of finagling. Sometimes it helps if you just twist it to the side a little bit. And then once you get that through, you're good. So now from here, to go and clean this up, I'm gonna slowly shift this down like so until I get to this position here. So now what's cool about this is that you have part of the pull tab making contact with, I guess, the eyelet, for lack of better terms, of the zipper here. So now it's gonna be making less noise because it's not gonna be able to rattle as much through here. And now I can still go and grab access to it like I need to or would with a normal pull tab on here. The only downside about this is it's not gonna be as erect as you would see the pull tab on the bottom through here. This one's gonna be a little bit more flaccid for lack of better terms. So that concludes our video about utilizing the ESD pull tab and installing it on sorts of bags. If you guys wanna see other colors or anything like that, leave a comment below. We'd love to see what colors that we haven't offered yet that you wanna see. But otherwise, go check out our social media, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. You can search Edgar Sherman Design. You can also check out our website, www.edgarshermandesign.com if you wanna check out other products similar to this or to check out the product itself. We hope that this answered some of your questions and gave you a better understanding of what the product is and how to utilize it. And we hope to see more of these on your kit.